Hey guys, Brian and PS4 Trophies and Life is Strange is going to be free on PlayStation Plus 4 June 2017. So I figured let's go take a look back at this old game, show you guys how to get the Platinum Trophy. It's very easy. In fact, if you remember, it was number 11 most popular Platinum Trophy when I did my top 30 list a couple weeks ago. So we're going to find 50 optional photographs. And there's 10 in each episode. In episode one, the first one is in the school, in the first room in the school that you're going to be in. And you just go up to this desk. You'll see the etching in the desk. Just go up to it. You'll have the option to hit square to take the optional photo. So that's number one. And we're going to get a trophy for each one of the optional photos. So if you just take all 50 optional photos, you'll get the platinum trophy. Now the second one is going to be as soon as you exit the school, you're going to see a statue right in front of you. So just go to the front side of the statue, look up at it, hit the square again to take the photo, and that will get you the second optional photo. Again, another trophy. Now from there, we're going to actually go from this spot, turn around, and there's going to be a student. His name is Justin. So just walk up to Justin. Now we have to make a couple dialogue selections here. So we're going to speak to him. Now the first thing we're going to do is select Thrash, which is going to be tied to the circle button here. Now we're going to have an option to rewind. A lot of cool things about this game is you can rewind and redo different choices that you make at various points. So we're going to rewind after that first dialogue selection and then speak to him once more for a second time. Now we're going to have the option that I came to no slide. That is a new option once you rewind. So we're going to select that and he's going to talk for about 30 seconds. So skipping forward, we're going to have the option to choose tray flip. Again, circle. So when you select that option, it's the third dialogue choice we're going to make. You're going to see this guy wipe out on the skateboard. Now all we need to do is walk up to him and take a photo of this poor guy. I'm sure he does not appreciate it very much, but looks like he's in too much pain to worry about it. So that was kind of a little convoluted little thing we had to do there, but simple enough. There you go, another trophy. Now number four, once you're heading towards a dormitory, before you go inside the dormitory, uh, just head back here and you're going to see a girl sitting on the bench. And behind her, or in front of her, is a tree. We're going to go behind the tree and you're going to see a squirrel. We're just going to simply take a photo of the squirrel. All right, so now you're going to have to do the little kind of puzzle with the paint bucket. And once you gain access to the dormitory, you're going to head towards your room. Now, once you're inside your room, just simply turn around to your right. And behind you, there's going to be a mirror. If you get close enough to the mirror, you will have the option to take a selfie of yourself in the mirror. And that will be our fifth optional photo, as well as our fifth trophy that we've earned in the game. Alright, so after that, you're going to go outside, you're going to meet Juliet, you're going to do her little kind of quest there. Once you're done with her, you're going to have to go into Victoria's room to get some evidence. Now inside of Victoria's room, which by the way is right across the hall from your uh, dorm room. Now once you're in here, uh, same thing as the previous, uh, your room, turn around to the right and you'll see the photos. Let's and we're going to mess it up. So you got to select Victoria the mess up message. option first. Let's move this here. Now, once you've completed your little uh, design here, we're going to be able to take a photo of that. All right, so after you've left the, uh, the dormitory, the girl's dorm, we're going to be right back outside, and you're going to see a, a student here. He's going to throw a football. It's going to bounce on the ground and hit this poor girl in the head so we're gonna walk up to Alyssa and then we're gonna rewind so you hit L2 to rewind which at this point you should know and then we're gonna go up to her and warn her so that is going to enable him to throw the football it's gonna bounce over her and break the window so to get the optional photo just simply walk up to the window and take a photo of that And yet another trophy for us. So number eight, this is going to be once you get out to the parking lot. Now before you go over and talk to Warren, go over to this uh, camper over here in the back right corner. 
This one has a dirty window in the back, and we can actually draw a little design on it. So walk up to it, hit X to draw, and once you've finished your drawing here, you can then take a photo of it. I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay Lots. So we got ourselves another trophy, and we got two more photos in episode one, and this is going to be quite a bit later, maybe 20 minutes or so into the game, and you're going to go into a house, do a whole little thing with Chloe and her dad, and then once you're done, you're going to be brought outside. Now before you go walking up that hill towards the lighthouse, turn around and come back here, and you're going to see a bird on the rock. Uh, we need to take a picture of this bird. However, sometimes the prompt to take the photo doesn't show up, so just kind of walk around it, and eventually you'll see the prompt to show uh, for draw, uh, photo show up here in just a moment. I'm just going to go around the back side of this rock here. Chloe stepped to there we go. So again, before you go walking you. up the hill to meet Chloe, you got to turn around and head backwards in order to take the picture of the bird. Now the final trophy, and you actually get two trophies. Uh, one for taking the 10th photo and one for collecting all the photos in episode one. Go up the hill and you're going to find Chloe. Now we're going to sneak so up lucky. behind her here and there's a escape. sunset out in the distance. So we're going to take a photo of the sunset with her in it. So just get up behind it. There you go. You can hit square to take this photo. And that'll again be the final photo in episode one. All right, so the first of 10 optional photographs in episode two is going to be in Kate's room, room number 222. When you enter it, you'll see Kate sitting at the desk. And if you look to the left-hand side, there's a cage with a rabbit inside of it. Take a photograph of that rabbit to earn the first trophy. Of course, just like the previous episode, there is one trophy per each of the optional photographs, and then you'll get an additional trophy for getting all 10 of them. That was number one. The second one is as soon as you head outside, we're actually gonna go back over towards the tree where we saw the squirrel earlier. And we're gonna take the, a picture of the squirrel once again. But first we need to go to into the, the uh, trash can here, use it, and then you'll find a donut. You're gonna place the donut on the bench. Now what we need to do is lure the squirrel to the bench to grab the donut. In order to do that, just walk away, wait long enough, and the squirrel will go and attempt to grab the donut. Now, once it has, just walk back over to it, and you'll have the option to take a photo of the squirrel. Yes, another Pulitzer for the portfolio. All right, so the next one in episode two is after you take a bus to the diner. You'll see the two whales diner right in front of us, and there's actually a couple of photographs we're gonna take here. So first, we're going to take a picture of the sign. So stand right here just to the left of this uh, pole. At this angle, you can take a photograph of the, the diner sign. And there's actually going to be another one around the back side of the diner and then finally another one inside the diner. But first, let's go to the back of the diner. So we're going to go this way. We're going to sprint here. And just keep following it around the right-hand side. You'll see a homeless person here. We're going to turn left again, and beyond the fence is going to be a dog, and that is what we could take a photo of. So get up to the fence here until you can see the prompt to take the photo, and this will be number four. All right, so now that we got that photo as well as the trophy, we're going to go inside the diner. And once you're inside of the diner, we're going to go to the bathroom. It's going to be on the left corner as you enter it. Once you enter the bathroom, just immediately turn to the right. You'll see some writing on the mirror. Walk up to that, and you can take a photo right here.
Okay, now we're actually going to be in a junkyard. So as soon as the little cutscene ends and you can gain control of uh, your character here, immediately turn right around. You'll see a bus. This is the same area where you need to go around and gather bottles. So at any point while you're in here, come to this location here, look for the pink hood of this vehicle and stand right to the left of it and you can get a good angle on that bus to take the photograph. Now that one requires you to kind of be in a certain uh, position in order to grab that photo. But after you've done that, there's another one in this area. And what we're going to do is go outside of the junkyard here. There's a little exit here to the left. And we're going to go to basically on the opposite side of where that bus was. And straight in front of us here, we're going to see a deer. So just approach the deer. And the deer is going to go running off to the right. So just follow it right up this hill here. So you can stand right about here to take the photo. Now my deer, for some reason, has uh, some opacity issues. A little see-through maybe it's a new species of deer i am unaware of but we got the dynamic range trophy now after you've done the whole bottle bit and shooting the bottles you're going to see a chloe lying on the hood of a car if you come to this angle right here you need to take a photo of her you can only take a photo of her from this angle so just go to the left of the hood and you get a good shot of her right there now the next one is going to be a little bit further into the story. We're going to be dropped off at the school. You're going to see David there. Have a little conversation with him. And we're going to have to go into the science lab here to the left. Now you're going to see Warren. Now what you need to do is make him fail the experiment. So you're going to be given a couple different options here. Either potassium or sodium. doesn't matter what you choose here. Your choice is going to be wrong. And Warren is going to ultimately fail his experiment. Now you can see in the top left corner you have the option to rewind. So we're going to rewind. Now we have to get the correct solution to the science, uh, science experiment. So in order to do that, go up to Miss Grant here, speak to her, and then you're going to have a new option for experiment. Right there, triangle. So we're going to get the correct solution, which is chlorine. Now that we've done that, we're going to head back to Warren and actually give him the right ingredient for his science experiment. So go ahead and we can skip through this because we've already been through it once. There you go. Now you have the option of chlorine. So again, just to recap, you need to go talk to Warren first. Give him any option. You have one choice or three choices. Doesn't matter which option you choose. He'll fail the experiment. Rewind it. Talk to Miss Grant to get the correct answer. Go back to Warren and then correctly uh, fulfill the requirements for the experiment. At which point, after he's successfully completed it, you can now take a photo of him. So a bit of a process there, but easy enough. And the final optional photo we can take is going to be in art class. So we're just going to go across the hall. You're going to have a little brief conversation here with the teacher. Then we're going to go into art class and we're going to see uh, Alyssa is going to be standing in front of the window straight ahead. And that is our target. All you need to do is just walk up behind her. You'll see the option, the prompt there to take a photo. So do that. Now, if you found all 10 optional photographs in episode two, you should get two trophies right here. One for obviously getting the 10th one and then one for finding all 10 of them. So that'll do it for episode number two. All right, so we're heading into episode three here, and your first objective when you're in the dormitory is to leave the dormitory. However, you're going to miss the first photograph, and you need to go into Victoria's room. But in order to gain access to it, you need to first talk to Taylor. She's in the shower area, or I believe you might be able to talk to Dana as well. So we're going to go ahead and comfort here, uh, Taylor here in the showers, and then we're going to have an opportunity to rewind. So we're going to do that. Now we're going to go speak to her once more. Go ahead and skip forward. And now we got a new option there about Victoria sneaking out. Now, once you've done this dialogue, you can head back to Victoria's room, which is across the hall from your own uh, dorm room. So we're going to go inside of here, and we have a statue in the back left corner. It's a glow-in-the-dark statue. In order to take a photograph of it, however, you do need to light it up. You need to shine the light on the statue here. You can see it right next to the alarm clock. And you got to kind of position yourself just right, the, uh, the flashlight, in order to get the prompt to take a photo. So you might have to move around a little bit, but there you go. The photo prompt did show, so I'm going to hit the square button. 
And just like all the other photographs we've taken, the optional photographs at least, we are granted a trophy. So that is our first of 10 here in episode 3. Now that you've done that, go ahead and exit the dormitory. And we're going to be back outside. And we're going to go over to our friend, the squirrel, once again. This time we're going to walk straight up to it, right where it's uh, standing there. And it's going to go run away. So at this point, we're going to stay right here and rewind. The squirrel will be back here, and you can then take the photo. Gotcha. All right, so just a bit further, we're going to be back inside the school. Now, you're going to have to break into the principal's office and eventually have to find a few things. So we're going to first go into the science lab once more, go in through this door. Now, there are two optional photographs we need to take inside of this room. First of which is going to be the fish tank along the back wall right over here. So there's the aquarium. Now, in order to take the photograph, you're going to have to turn on the light. So I'm going to look at it here. And then I'm going to be able to turn on the light. Once the light is on, we can then take the photo. Good evening, fish fish. So there you go. We are going to again get a second optional photograph here in the same lab. And to do that, go find the skeleton by the back door. You'll see a cigarette in the skeleton's mouth. So all you need to do is just walk up to it. You have the option to take the photo. Very simple. So number five is going to be in the principal's office. Chloe is going to sit down in the principal's chair there. And once she does, you can then walk up to the desk and uh, take a photo of her sitting in the chair. So just move around until you get the option to take Chloe, the photo. Got to be at the right angle, of course. Say hello to my little friend. Say good night to the bad guy. All right, so you're going to do a bunch more stuff here in the school. You're going to go to the pool. And after you leave the school, you're going to go into Chloe's bedroom. Now you have to go exit the bedroom. We're supposed to go downstairs for breakfast. However, before you do oh that, go to the God. bathroom straight across That's the hall here. Look in the mirror. It's like when we were kids here. And there's your photo opportunity right here. Now, once you've done that, you have to head downstairs, and Joyce is going to make you breakfast. So once you get downstairs, initiate dialogue with her first. So go ahead and speak to her. Morning, Just talk to her. Rachel, once you've made your choice for I'm breakfast mad. between pancakes or bacon and eggs, I chose bacon and I eggs, by the way. Bacon. Now what we need to do is go over here to the window just to the left. We need to open this. I now we're going to get a bird inside the house here, and we need to shoo it outside. So if I turn around directly behind me, and up high, you see there is going to be the bird. So we got to walk up to it, and we need to scare it. Fly, Not once, but twice. So the first time it's going to go head over towards the fireplace, scare it once more, it'll go outside. Now that it's outside, we need to actually go up to the bird and take a photo of it. So we can just go out the sliding door here to our right and head straight back and the bird's going to be sitting on top of the fence over here towards the corner. And that is optional photo number seven in episode three. So once you've collected your trophy there, we're going to go head back out towards the Two Whales Diner. You'll eventually come here, and you'll see that red truck over there. We need to take a photo of it. So in order to do that, we have to talk to the trucker first. And he's sitting in front of the diner. Hey, how's it going? Now, I don't believe what uh, your choices matter here, but we're going to ultimately end this conversation and have the opportunity to rewind. So once you're done talking to him the first time... You can now rewind and we're going to initiate a second conversation with him using the information he hey, gave us in the first uh, conversation. So once you get on here, you can choose 1977 Needham. Actually, that is the truck of you, his, the red truck in the background there. And now he's going to talk for a little bit. It's going to go on. 
and you're going to have an option here between Blackwell class and Rachel Amber. Friend, We're going to select Rachel, Rachel Amber. Amber. This cool rigging town now, once I this dialogue tree uh, exhausts itself, we can now go and take a photo of the red truck. Now, there is a second photograph in this area before we go into the diner. Just like the first time we were here, we're going to actually go around the back side of the diner. But right around the corner, you see the bird with a bunch of ants uh, swirling around so next to it. Just walk up to this and take the photo of the bird. Now, we are left with just one optional photograph here in Episode 3, and this is going to be during a flashback sequence. Once you gain control of Max here, you know she's got the blue shirt, walk immediately up to the camera straight in front of you, pick it up, and snap a photo. Now, you need to snap the photo prior to the phone ringing. If the phone rings, you'll have to rewind, and then you'll have an opportunity to go and pick up the camera. So that is all 10 optional photographs in Episode number 3. All right, so your first optional photo in episode four is going to occur about 30 minutes or so after you start, and it's actually right when you return back to the real world. You'll be in Chloe's room. You need to come up behind her, and then you can snap a photo. Make sure you snap a photo before speaking with her, however. All right, so the second optional photo here in the episode is going to be immediately as you go downstairs, you're going to head into the garage and you're going to search for some evidence. Well, we're going to actually search the front of the garage where the garage door is, and we are going to find a nest with some birds in it. Maybe there's some new clues. You can see it there, just to the left side of it, and there's a plank lying up against the nest. So once you gain control of your character here, immediately turn right. You're going to have to move the plank. But first, we're going to go and look at the birds. Oh, look at the baby birds. And once you've done that, now you'll have an option to move the plank. I, I better move his plank. So we're going to move the plank out of the way. And this, of course, is going to give you the opportunity to take the photo of the birds. Now, after you've taken the photo of the birds, it's up to you to decide whether or not you want to move the plank back in place. It's your choice. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay Wildlife series. So once again, wait for the trophy to pop here, and then we'll go to number three. Oh, and I'm going to put the plank back, because that's just the kind of guy I am. All right, so number three, we're going to be back outside the dormitories here. And if you got the Uncharted 4 Platinum, you'll f be quite familiar with Karens. And that's what we're going to take a picture of. In Uncharted 4, you had to go and destroy and knock over a whole bunch of them. Here in Life is Strange, all you need to simply do is find the Karen and just take a picture of it. One photo. And there's also going to be one more optional photo in this area before we head inside. So now that we got that photo in our pocket, we're going to go turn to the right and we're going to look for the custodian over here. A very strange fella. But we're going to have to deal with squirrels once again. So basically, you need to make two dialogue options here. The first choice you're given, you want to say animals. It's tied to the triangle button there. I definitely and then you're going to be given a second dialogue choice, and you want to say squirrels, once again tied well, to triangle. Now, you perform both of those choices. The uh, janitor here is going to throw some nuts out for the squirrel, some food. And we're not going to take a picture of him. We're actually going to take a picture of a couple of squirrels. So what you need to do is, after you can now freely move around, go up to the food box, and then you want to lure a second squirrel over to this area now once the squirrels are together that is when you need to snap your photo so after you throw the food just kind of wait around hang back until the squirrels meet and that's when you're going to have the option to take the photo so there we go now after we do this we have to talk to some other people and then you and chloe are going to go inside the boys dormitory and that is where we're going to find optional photo number five. So immediately upon entering this area, just go to the end of the hall. You have two choices here, left or right. We want to turn right. And if you look out the window, out in the distance, there's some footprints. That is your photo opportunity. Every photographer should have one blurry Bigfoot shot. So once you've snatched up that uh, 
photo, you'll of course get the trophy, and we're going to go move on to outside in where you're going to meet Frank and his RV here. Now, if you look over to the right-hand side, there's a whole line of whales. Uh, one of the middle ones is going to be your photo opportunity, so just kind of come up here. It's going to be one of these middle ones here, so just kind of move around. Here we go. This guy right here is going to allow us to take a photo. So we'll grab that trophy. Now we're going to head to a barn area. And it's going to be locked. But before you go inside the barn, head around to the left-hand side. You're going to see a, a bird sitting on the fence post here. So go up to it and snap a photo. If it flies away prior, you to, uh, prior to you snapping the photo, you can use the rewind button to make the bird come back for you. Now after you got that, we're going to actually go inside the barn area. And you're going to have to uncover a trap door. Once you've done that, interact with the padlock. Try to open it with your hands. You're not going to be able to. That'll allow you to climb up two platforms. Uh, once you get up to the first platform here, you're going to have to pull down the generator. That'll allow you to go up to the highest level of the barn. Now, once you're up here, go to the very back corner, and there's going to be an owl here to the right-hand side. Please be careful up there, Max. So we're going to snap this photo. And a little bit later on, we're eventually going to get to the party. And that is where we're going to find the location of number 9 and 10. Now, I'm taking a photo of number 10 first. It's 10 in your, uh, in, if you look inside their menu in your notebook. Because technically you can get this one first. So as soon as you enter the curtain, go through the curtain, you're going to be in the party area. You want to turn around and look kind of up and to the right. And you're going to see two moons through the windows. That is number 10. Again, I'm kind of doing 9 and 10 out of order just because technically uh, see this one first so now we're gonna go to uh, what is number nine and this is going to be by the VIP entrance and don't go into the VIP area yet instead go to the restroom just to the left and once you enter this immediately turn to your left and you're gonna see a wall a half a half wall with a skeleton and you need to line it up with the guy standing behind him you might have to move around just right in order to get the, the framing for it. But take that photo, of course, with the square button. And remember, since this is their 10th and final photograph we're taking in this episode, you should get two trophies. So make sure you got two. If you did, we can move on to episode number five. All right, as we begin episode five, I just want to say there are spoilers here. I try to avoid them as much as possible, but in this game, it's really, really hard to avoid. So I do recommend episode five especially. Maybe just go out, play it on your own, and then come back, replay it, and get all the collectibles. So here we go. Spoiler warning. As soon as you get back into school, about 20, 25 minutes or so into episode five, you're, you're going to be back in the same original classroom where you started the game at, and you're going to see Kate on the desk to your right. Just walk up to her and comfort her. As soon as that conversation ends, turn back around and look at her and hit photo, hit the square button, and that is your first optional photo here in episode number five. Again, a trophy for each one of these that you find. Okay, so now moving on to the next one. We're going to actually be out of town. We're going to be in an art gallery. When you enter the art gallery, as soon as you gain control of Max, just go down the stairs over here. Look for this lady right in front of us. And she's got a camera right behind her. So we're going to take the camera and take a photo for our second optional photograph. So our third one here in episode three is going to be when you're in the dark room here. And uh, basically, a lot of things are going to happen. And he's going to try to hit you with a needle here and, and give you a dose of the medicine. But David is going to come in and try to save the day. But instead, he's going to get whacked immediately at this point and rewind all the way back to the beginning. And you're now going to be able to give a, a new dialogue option here. One last picture is tied to the circle button you see. That'll uh, allow you to get One this optional picture. photograph, which you actually don't take yourself. Mr. Jefferson's going to take it for you, but it is going to give us the trophy. This is about, I'd say, about five minutes into the whole uh, darkroom 
seen here. So it's going to be a little while, but as soon as David comes running in, gets whacked over the head, just rewind back to the beginning, and then you're going to be given the option to get one last photograph. All right, so next up, you're going to be outside the diner again, the Two Whales Diner, and the you're going to take out the stop the fire from having the explosion. You're going to use the sand to stop it. And then what you want to do is go to the street and the big whale that used to be on top of the uh, sign, on top of the building. If you just navigate in the right position, you're going to be able to take a photograph of this, and it is going to be our first of two in this section here. So again, after preventing the explosion of the diner, just go to the street, take a uh, picture of the sign, the whale, and then turn around, you're going to head back down this alley just to the right of the diner, and you're going to see this car up on the roof. Get underneath this position right here, look up towards that front passenger tire, and take the photograph. All right, so next up, we're actually going to be back in the school once again. This is kind of a weird alternate reality, but there's going to be etch marks here. This is actually one of the first collectibles we found. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. We have to actually look at this. Just look at it over and over. It might take you two or three uh, attempts, but you keep looking, and eventually you're going to have an option to take a photo. So do a that. Or a nightmare. I'm taking this picture. All right, so now you're going to be in the repeating hallway section. At one point, you're going to be in Rachel's clothes. Then you're going to go through this door, go through the hallway once again here as Victoria. So we're going to have to go through her room. Now, once you go through her room, you're going to come back out in that hallway. This time, you're going to return to Max here. And now we're going to go to the split in the hallway here, turn right near the where the showers were, and look out the window, and we got giant squirrels. I don't know what's going on with the squirrels in this game, but they definitely make a repeat appearance several times. So go ahead, take a picture of the giant squirrels. Get yourself a trophy. All right, so next up, we're going to be in this interesting section here. This is the backwards area where everything walks back, where everyone walks backwards, everyone talks backwards. A lot of weird stuff's going on here. And this is actually kind of an interesting photograph we have to take. Uh, if you turn right here in the main area, you're going to see a skeleton in the corner. Instead of taking a photo, because this is backwards area, we're actually going to put the photo, take it out of our bag, and then put it back into the camera in reverse. So very interesting and clever here. So in order to do this, you're just going to hit the touchpad, the journal button, in order to get this uh, uh, optional photograph. All right, so now you're going to have that cat and mouse se section here where you're playing hide and seek. And this is, I think, the third segment here, and you get to the lockers. This is right at the very beginning of this section. You have uh, the guy over here with the flashlight, so we're going to avoid him. Turn the corner, and we're going to actually avoid him a second time here. As soon as he turns away, we're going to go forward, and then we're going to take a right at the next split here. Oh, he saw me, so let's just rewind a little bit. So we're going to take a right, Let's just stay along the lockers here, and this guy's going to path uh, right in front of us. Do you have a scar and now we're just going to keep circling around to the right until we get to Warren's locker. And once you get here, open Warren's locker. And you're going to take a look at this little creepy little shrine here. And once scary. you're done with that, you can go ahead and now take the photo. So make sure you take the photo before running away. Now our 50th collectible we're going to find. And this is going to be the last one. And we're going to go to the next segment after that locker segment. And this is where you have the junkyard. And you got to go around and, and find five bottles. The area is very small, so it shouldn't be too difficult for you to get the bottles. Once you get the fifth bottle, head out towards the lighthouse, towards the exit of this area. And if you look over to the right-hand side, there's a, a board there with six bottles sitting on top of it. This is what we need to take a photograph of. As soon as you hit the photo button, the bottles are going to break. You will get two trophies, one for the finding this collectible and one for finding all of them in episode number five. In addition, you're going to get the platinum trophy as soon as you finish the game 
assuming you have found all the photo optional photographs throughout the entire game so i want to thank you guys so much for watching i do appreciate it make sure you guys hit the like button and of course subscribe